I would say be careful. Um, I would say be careful of what you put in your videos because whatever energy you put out, you're going to get that energy back. I'm going to judge this as fair as I can. Okay. I, I don't play both sides. I'm not biased at all. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to rhymes, I'm going to judge the rhymes. If, it, if it's whack, if it's not nice, that's what I'm going to do. I'm a Tom McDonald fan myself. At the same time, I can definitely give Tom the L and the W. You know what I'm saying? So today we got Mac Lethal coming back five years later. After the Tom McDonald diss track, the back and forth. And he got something new. He got something new. All right, so I know this is piggybacking off what Tom said about homie got torched, he got a divorce thing. So we going to listen to it. We going to let it cook. Let's get it. Hold up. All right. Where is it? Why is it not? Yeah, there it is. My bad. Let's be clear about one thing. You started it, you sneak dissing pussy. <laughs> oh my god. I do agree that was kind of a sneak diss though. You're dressing up, church. Why are you gonna mention anyway? Let's go. I thought it was funny too. We already squashed this dude. What are you doing? Here's a backstory. A couple years ago, Tom McDonald got his feelings hurt and made a track towards me. Tried to diss me in a rapping war. Tried to bait me into going back and forth, but I really didn't have the passion for it. So I made one song and I had to ignore it. I don't want to sound rude. I just think he's mad corny. I now, isn't that a lie? Because he did make a uh, Mac Lethal sucks. But was that was that this track connected to the Tom diss? I'm not sure. Um, I don't remember reacting to it at all. So he might be capping on that end, but officially he did do one diss track and then Tom came back with his second round. And from what I understand, he didn't really respond. Now, analyzing, analyzing where his, uh, that, that diss track, it just sounds so uninspired. It sounded, it had one cadence. The beat wasn't tough. It sounded wacky. It was stupid. Like it didn't sound like a, a battle rap track. Right. But when you come in on this beat right here, when you listen to the cadence and you got that punchy vocal with the, uh, kind of like that grimy beat in there, that's battle rap right there. That's battle rap. Let me teach you. Towards me, tried to diss me in a rapping war, tried to bait me into going back and forth, but I really didn't have the passion for it. So you kind of did go and back and forth. Ignore. I don't want to sound rude. I just think he's mad corny. I didn't want to give it energy. A transphobic, homophobic culture vulture rapping about white supremacy isn't worthy of facing me lyrically. But Ooh. I'm getting tired of watching. I, I am loving the rhymes, though. The rhymes. That's I, I really thought going into that. I thought Mac Lethal was going to win. I was like, I remember Mac Lethal from back in the day. Mac Lethal was dangerous. He could rhyme his behind off. I really thought this was going to be an even battle, but I was wrong. So let's go. Ultra vulture rapping about white supremacy isn't worthy of facing me lyrically, but I'm getting tired of watching this dude embarrass hip hop's history. And the other day he dropped a new song and for some reason he was kissing me. Fine, fight contract sign. Normally I wouldn't pay this any mind, but you made a nine minute song about your personal life. Why the fuck you mention mine? I said that. I said that. I actually said that, you know, I don't, you can make a reference to Mac Lethal, the last dude got this, it didn't end well for him kind of thing, but he didn't have to add the extra stuff at the end. I thought that was kind of, that kind of was a sneak diss in my eyes. I think anybody who battle raps or listen to battle rap, that was a sneak diss. But what the problem is with me, I have with some of the fan bases that y'all are allowed time to sneak diss Mac Lethal. But then, I can see the comments right now. Mac Lethal ain't allowed to do this because he already lost. No, that's not the way this goes. Especially if you smash the beef. Y'all got y'all got to understand that structure into this. Like, you know, we we Eminem and Benzino went at it twenty years ago. Benzino still going at him. Eminem stopped responding a long time ago. He didn't feel like it was worth it. Even the ghost written. So, but anyway, my biggest question at the end, uh, will Tom respond? But at the same time, he can respond to what he wants. 
You know what I'm saying? We rappers at the end of the day, bro. Dude, if any other reactor sneak this me, first of all, I might address them in the DMs because I ain't really got time to be writing rap verses for y'all. But if, if 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 any reactor sneak this me, I might, you know, I might give them 16. I might give them 16. But anyway, get me hype. Hopefully I wouldn't pay this any mind, but you made a nine minute song about your personal life. Why the fuck you mention mine? I've been minding my business and buying some property. Why are you dissing me? Why you take shots at me, man? Are you buying prescriptions again? Is it lines that you're sniffing? It's gotta be. Woo! I like that grit at the end of that, the way that build it up right there. But so far, I think a lot of the lines have been light, but not necessarily haymakers. You know what I'm saying? But let's go. Ding, ding, let's begin. You got weak skin. We followed each other on IG. We DM'd, we even agreed that we would be friends. Thomas, we already squashed it. Last time, I took the high road. This time, I'm getting toxic. Mm. First off, you're... Isn't toxic one of Tom McDonald's? I wonder why he said toxic. Is that... Did Tom McDonald have a song with toxic in it? I wonder. I might be off on that one. I mean, watched it. Last time I took the high road. This time I'm getting toxic. First off, your music sucks. You're goofy as fuck. Your beats are trash. I bet a million dollars cash that I could easily beat your ass. Your girlfriend <laughs> is a skeezer with diseases. She got fleas and crabs. Yeah, dog. Come on, man. Why are you bringing Nova in here? He went at Nova last time. You already came at her. But maybe, maybe this debate though, maybe this debate track, maybe this debate track, maybe him mentioning Nova is the bait. I'm, I'm curious about like where the angle is going here. All right. What, 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 what angle we trying to build here? We see the picture. We see the picture. It's raunchy. All right. But what's the angle? All right. Let's get it. Easily beat your ass. Your and he said he could, uh, Pause. Beat your ass, Tom. What say ye? What say ye? <laughs> Girlfriend is a skeezer with diseases. She got fleas and crabs. She used to go to Russell Simmons' house and eat his ass. No Yikes! <laughs> Known for Rockefeller. She was a groupie over at Def Jam and a hoe at Rockefeller. You nerdy cuck. I wouldn't touch that dirty slut for 30 bucks. You know what? The Rockefeller glitch was okay. It was a little light, but it wasn't like super complex or nothing like that. But I like the way he used some wordplay to build that up. Groupie over a Def Jam and a hoe at Rockefeller. You nerdy cuck. I wouldn't touch that dirty slut for 30 bucks. You're not even in the top 10 rappers. Your girl is fucked. Oh, my God. Yo, that's a haymaker. If you would have, man, listen to me. If you would have said this in the first disc, that would have been a major haymaker, bro. That would have been a major haymaker. <clears throat> that was nasty. That's nasty. Dude, look at all them battle rappers, bro. <laughs> and they all dress like that, too. Even in the top 10 rappers, your girl is fucked. Oh, my God. She's vaginally infected. I'll get back to her in a second. First, I'm smashing you on this record. I'll punch you so hard, you'll see three of me. You'll say, hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Have Good callback. Good callback. Rebuttal in the hi, Dave, hi, Dave, hi, Dave bar. Now, remember in Tom McDonald's, uh, what was it, lethal injection? Hi, Dave, hi, Dave, hi, Dave. And his whole entire fan base ran with it. That's how we know Mac Lethal. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. That was a good rebuttal. You got to give him that. Record, I'll punch you so hard, you'll see three of me. You'll say, hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Half your fucking fan base wishes they could buy slaves. I donate my money. Whoa. Going at Hulk? Come on, dude. All right. Pirates. Okay, what you want a peppermint? Don't complain about it, just do it. Quit patting yourself on the back for the camera lens. You're Hold up, let me go back. I missed that line. Half your fucking fan base wishes they could buy slaves. I donate my money to veterans. Okay, what you want a peppermint? Don't complain about it, just do it. Quit patting yourself on the back for the camera lens. You're just That's true. I think even in the Bible it says like do not make your alms known to the public. I think biblically that's wrong. So, you know what I'm saying? Do it in secret. You know, God 
God sees your arms. So you'll be, you don't have to make your arms public to make you look like, um, look like a savior or anything. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I do think it's cool what Tom is doing. Like, don't get me wrong, but I think even in the sense of like, you ain't, you know, I think people say that about even, um, when celebrities do it, y'all don't got to tell us. And remember when the rock was talking about him and Oprah was talking about, Hey, we need y'all help. Please donate. And we looking at y'all like, hold up, man, y'all worth billions. Why don't y'all donate? Right? So yeah, I feel him on that one. As far as like the look of it, you know what I'm saying? But I get it. Hey, what you want a peppermint? Don't complain about it. Just do it. Quit patting yourself on the back for the camera lens. You're just Doja Cat for Nazis, a feminine racist on every beat. They call you an anti woke rapper because your music puts everybody to sleep. I think that I, 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 I like that line, but I think it was a wasted opportunity for a heads heavy haymaker. When the beat stopped, I think as a rapper myself, I'm, I'm thinking a heavy haymaker is coming. Anti woke. Anti woke put everybody to sleep it's light but i think it could have been it could have been maybe built up more as a double entendre i think i would have said something different though like anti-woke i don't know i don't know you know what i'm saying it could have been a little bit more wordplay work in there and then racist on every beat they call you an anti-woke rapper because your music puts everybody to sleep fuck everything that your lame ass do if dave matthews had braids and a face tattoo and made a song called if i was a gay black jew we would all be like hey that's you I'm loving the syllab so, uh the multi syllabics right there. I like that. I'm a fan of multi syllabics. If you ain't really noticed already, I you know when you build up my multi, give me my multis, okay? If Dave Matthews had braids and a face tattoo and made a song called "If I Was a Gay Black Jew," we would all be like, "Hey, that's you." Matter of fact, why is Dave Matthews putting? Don't bring Dave in here, man. He over there minding his business. Don't bring Dave into this. <laughs> Honestly, he don't even look like Dave Matthews. Braids in the face tattoo. Hmm. That line kind of fell flat too. Dave Matthews had braids and a face tattoo and made a song called If I Was a Gay Black Jew, we would all be like, hey, that's you. <laughs> Acting like you represent the blue collar working man rocking army boots when you live in Woodland Hills and wear $5,000 Versace suits. You'll okay. Okay. I see his angle kind of building up and coming together. He's saying, he's basically saying Tom McDonald is fake. I think that was more or less up church's angle too, that he's not who people say he is. Um, trying to claim that you a blue collar worker with army boots, you know, in a lot of his videos, especially the ones he did with, uh, Adam Calhoun, you know what I'm saying? He coming in with the, com uh, with the army clothes on and stuff saying we going to going to war and type of stuff. So I get, I get his angle on that one. He building up something. Working man rocking army boots when you live in Woodland Hills and wear $5,000 Versace suit. He's saying you basically ain't oh no blue collar worker. He basically saying that like you soft, you know, that's why he mentioned you. I could beat you at the beginning of the song. You'll never fuck with Mac. Look at this blonde bitch surrounded by shirtless African-American actors. What you about to get gang banged in an episode of black. Mm, pause, but it. Ooh, going leading back to video references. Yeah, let's get personal. Mm, this is a personal angle. He came out here personally in God mode, so you got to get it back. And y'all got to understand that this is hip, this is what hip hop is. Even if you don't follow hip hop, that's the nature of this. You're going to get dissed. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you're gonna get your pen put to the test. You know and we since Mac Lethal, Tom has not yet picked up the pen MC versus MC against anybody. Bitch surrounded by shirtless. But with this line, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. African American actors, what you about to get gang banged in an episode of Black? Your fans <laughs> cheer when planes fly over Gaza dropping bombs. I'm a 52 year old soccer mom. I hate rap, but you're awesome, Tom. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. That's a haymaker. That's a haymaker right there. Because in a lot of first time, like I remember when I first reacted to Tom and I was getting those messages and stuff like I can't listen to this rap today. You know, I'm such and such years old, my occupation. I can't listen to, I hate rap, but I love Tom. 
fine. That's that's your prerogative. But at the same time, I'm somebody that loves the genre. I love the genre as a whole. It's inspired me as a musician as a whole. So when anybody comes in and saying I hate hip hop, but I love Tom, it's half halfway offensive to the fan base of hip hop. That's why that's why Hall kind of gets this uh this rep of being ha- being half uh just just Tom fans basically. Just they just Tom fans. They don't love hip hop music. They don't they don't love it. They don't go back into the culture and study the culture. Study the culture, study the MCs that came before. That's why this line is a haymaker. Because it's true. That's what that's what we see in the comment section, even as reactors. You know, and we just wish that you guys will understand that we don't share that same sentiment. You don't have to say those type of comments about hating rap. But then often enough, you'll get those comments that say, let's be fair. Often enough, you'll get those comments that say, you know, I miss the old school rap. I can't listen to this stuff. Tom reminds me of the old school days. You know, sometimes me personally. You know, I'm you know, Tom is in his niche right now doing a political thing. But if you give me a mixtape with songs like Way Off and Exposure. And boom, pap, one on one, boom, bap, one on one. I, you know, that time right there, I, I'm, I'm messing with that time right there. No response. Give me some of that, you know. And I always preach that. But anyway, I'm a fan of the art form. Let's go. Over Gaza dropping bombs. I'm a 52 year old soccer mom. I hate rap, but you're awesome, Tom. I'm a fake fraud, poser, liar, charlatan, and grifter at heart. You have no fucking dignity. You'll do anything just to get on the charts. Mm-hmm. Bitch, I'm a star. Kicking these bars, burning his body, I'll rip it apart. Tom, did you call yourself the white version of Kendrick Lamar? Don't. Nah. Nah. What year was that? Burning his body, I'll rip it apart. Tom, did you call yourself the white December 4th, 2017, doing three days before I turned 34. You said that, Tom? You said that? And then this kind of segues back to the fan base, right? Because Tom knows he's not the most lyrical rapper. He's no Kendrick Lamar. Not at all. Tom can definitely get to that level, though, because I've seen his spoken word videos he can get to that level if he wants to you know but kendrick lamar no 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 i don't think so white version of kendrick lamar that's a bar like you kick down doors for the indie movement bitch you stole that same blueprint from rhyme sayers and strange music i paved your road real indie since 01 now i'm marvin gay's father i'm killing my own son yo yo that's tough Dude, had he said this in his first diss, bro, Tom, it, I remember Tom's first diss. It wasn't that bar heavy. He got some haymakers in this first three minutes, man. He got some, he got some haymakers in this first three minutes. But I will say this. Um, he said something about indie music, rhyme Saves in strange music. Since 01, now I'm Marvin Gaye's. Hold up. Strange music. I paved your road, real indie since 01. Now I'm Marvin Gaye's father. I'm killing my own son. That's crazy. And I was some nasty delivery, but at the same time, he did say that. You know what I'm saying? Pay homage to your elders. You know what I'm saying? I paved the way for you. So how you gonna say, right? And you got a lot of that today with these artists. Like they don't pay homage to the ones that came before them. They'll just claim that they the best, but not really going through the same road. You know what I'm saying? In hip hop, when I was growing up in hip hop, you had there's a certain road that you had to go down. You had to battle. You had to have rhymes up for anybody that's gonna pull you to the side and start battling. Like you. There was an actual test, a refinement of the MC. These days, you're not going to get that. They skip the line and get, get on the charts. Now, I'm not talking about Tom per se, but 
That's what we have. You don't have enough MCs going through the grit of becoming an MC. You know what I'm saying? Getting on the battle circuit, battling on the forums. You know? That's 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 what my generation did. So, but anyway, let's go. Real indie since 01. Now I'm Marvin Gaye's father. I'm that's a tough my line. Own son. Mm. Nova, Daddy, good, here, Nova. good beat choice. Good Daddy, beat choice. Come here, girl. Sit. Aw, oh, good girl. Here's a treat. Daddy, here's the truth that you can't run from. No can do told me when I'm fighting monsters, don't let it make you become one. That's crazy. No can do. No can do was a battle rapper. I think, did No Can Do die? I don't think so. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, yeah, but No Can Do is a battle rapper. Just, just for reference. Can't run from. No Can Do told me when I'm fighting monsters, don't let it make you become one. Your ego's too big. It's gotta be deflated. Trying to say political rap is a genre you created? You gotta be fucking kidding me. You ever heard of Ice T, Ice Cube, Immortal Technique, X Clan, or Public Enemy? Of course. Bro, has anybody in his fan base ever heard of those guys? The thing is, here's the key thing, is who's the messenger? Who's the messenger? That's all it is. This is why the fan base don't know. First off, they didn't get the exposure. These people didn't get the exposure. Tom got the exposure, so they believe Tom is the first one to do this political rap the way it's been done today. But they haven't never heard of these guys. You People have heard of Rage Against the Machine. He even could have put them in there just for some relevancy. You know what I'm saying? There was a lot of political rappers back in the day. You know what I'm saying? But I, like I said, it's who's the messenger. That's, that's my belief. But anyway, that's, a, that's, yeah. You kidding me? You ever heard of Ice T, Ice Cube, Immortal Technique, X Clan, or Public Enemy? Of course you haven't. You know nothing about the culture. Second Amendment, right guns coming up out the holster. Put the pistol in your mouth. Name one song off of Illmatic before I pull the trigger. A car. Dang. That was tough though. He said gun out the holster. In Hold your up. Mouth. Name one song off of Ill Mac and Max who created. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You ever heard of Ice T, Ice Cube, Immortal Technique, X Clan, or Public Enemy? Of course you haven't. You know nothing about the culture. Second Amendment, right guns coming up out the holster. Put the pistol in your mouth. Name one song off of Illmatic before I pulled the trigger. A car. You want to be American so bad that you won't even rep your own flag. And now you're getting toe tagged on every single song. You use that same dead flow. Your girls like Emily Willis, a brain dead hoe. I should have known that you're a damn snake. The type of person that'll look right in a man's face and offer him a handshake. Call a truce, declare peace on the landscape. Then diss his family life just to entertain your fan base. That's crazy. Now he's sitting back. Um, playing with Tom's integrity as a man, as a person to just entertain the fan base. I ain't gonna lie. If that's what happened in the DMS and they squashed it, Tom was out of pocket for that. I ain't gonna lie. He was out of pocket for mentioning that. And y'all got to admit that as a fan base too. You know what I'm saying? That was a sneak diss. you know? I got him on that one. The truth declare peace on the landscape, then diss his family life just to entertain your fan base. On God mode, trying to rap like Jesus, but in real life, you act like Judas with pussy cat like movements. I feel like Caesar getting stabbed by Brutus, but I got whiplash, so drums make me smack my students. That's crazy. And it said Knox will explain this, so I'm gonna have to go watch Knox's reaction. I what? I feel like Caesar getting stabbed by Brutus, but I got whiplash, so drums make me smack my students. The YouTube diss tracks, they really ain't my vibe. When I battle a rapper shit, I'd rather do it live. I'll bet 50,000 bucks to the charity of your choice that you won't look me in the eyes and put clarity in your voice. Mm. And say the things about me that you said in all your diss tracks. When I'm a foot away from you and you might just get bitch slapped. Shit, we could I ain't gonna lie. I would love to see that. Tom on stage. Getting busy for three rounds, five, what, three to five minutes a piece on the verse, acapella. I would like to see that.
I would pay money to see that. King of the Dot, set it up. You said in all your diss tracks, when I'm a foot away from you and you might just get bitch last year. We can battle on King of the Dot. Your girl knows all those dudes. She's seen all their cocks. We could battle. All right, so now we. I, I, I would say you had a part about Nova. I don't. I was I would say relax on the Nova disses, even though. Relax on the Nova disses. I think it gets a little bit mundane after the third time. But yeah. The long king of the dot. Your girl knows all those dudes. She's seen all their co I would say this. If it's not creative, that's that wasn't a creative bar. Make it more creative. And then I give you some kudos. We could battle up in Canada, right in your hometown. I'll let you pick the city and venue. It goes down, and I promise I'll get a bigger applause than you. Because in hip hop, there ain't a bigger fraud than you. I went on tour with D12. Those dudes are my new friends. They showed me some video you made for Eminem. They told me they were in the studio with Slim when he watched it. He cringed and he cut it off 30 seconds in. Crazy. What if that's true? What if that's true? Hold up. Let me go look. Okay. Oh, so he did go on tour with Mc, Swifty McVeigh. That's true. And uh, Swifty McVeigh and Canava. Oh, wow. So did that really happen? I'm not saying I need the proof, but man. And I said, I don't, this footage is, the video data is from 2023. But I would say maybe, maybe it was older. I'm not sure based on the footage I'm looking at. And it's just a simple Google search. Just go Mac Lethal on tour with D12. Just go search that and then you can see it. But yeah, so he did, he was on tour with D12. So they know Mac. All right. Okay. Okay. Eminem doesn't like you. He does not respect you. You made a love song about him begging him to peg you. Have you noticed that publicly he's never even mentioned it? I'm sorry, buddy. I know that's not how you envisioned it. You Bro, let's say if that really happened and Eminem never publicly acknowledged Tom, I would say that would hurt a little bit. After hitting the charts so much and, you know, uh, beating Eminem on the charts and, charts and whatnot, I would say, yeah. I would say, yeah, somebody you idolize, you know what I'm saying? Not really giving you the public acknowledgement, but I would say like, it's one of those things like, um, you know, with the LeBron James and Michael Jordan reference, right? Um, Michael Jordan never admitted that he was the goat, right? But his peers speak for him, right? With LeBron James, he's admitted on countless occasions that he's the goat. But his peers don't say it. You know what I'm saying? We know little media and whatnot, but. And how they represent basketball, but everybody knows that Jordan is the GOAT, right? You, you've seen it, right? Even if you weren't born in that time, you saw the highlights. So in, in, this, in this situation. Dang, I forgot my point. Hold up. Let me go listen to the bar. My, my thing is, is that, you know, when you good, you'll get the public acknowledgement. Like, let's say, for example, Knox Hill has been shouted out by Royce the 5'9". You know, he's been shouted out by Mac Lethal. Knox is certified in hip hop. No like Shaq, certified in hip hop. Got connections, no people. All that you certified by other people for having good videos, just like in the comment section, you know what I'm saying? And his fan base does that for him. But at the same time, it's like when your idol doesn't say anything and you, I would think Eminem knows who knows about Tom, you know, just like he knows about NF, he knows about a certain, a lot of people, but he has never publicly acknowledged it, so it's kind of crazy to me. He's never even mentioned it. I'm sorry, buddy. I know that's not how you envisioned it. You thought he'd call you like, hey, Tom, it's Slim Shady. You're so controversial. How are you this crazy? You want to make a song about how transgender men are pretend ladies and all the live ladies having mixed babies? 
<laughs> I like the little Eminem flow right there, but the line was flat. And how the Mexican border is being invaded by woke Palestinians causing inflation. We'll call it White Boys Part 12. It'll be awful. And the Grammy goes to Eminem and Tom McDonald. I'm sorry that you didn't get to do a song with that was That was nice. That was a good lead up. Song with Ben Shapiro, the dude that censored Candace Owens' views quick. And he said that rap music isn't real music. He did say that. I remember him talking to a Christian rapper, I think. I forgot his name. It was a Christian rapper. And he said he, he didn't never believe that hip hop was real music. And I was like, bro, I understand the, the, the trollness of that song with Ben Shapiro. But it's a, I would say it's a bad look to your peers when you do song, when you do a music video with somebody like that who's publicly admitted it, he don't like hip hop. And he tried to say the pussies aren't supposed to get wet. That song was so controversial and over the edge. I'm kidding. Nobody cares about your facts and your feelings. You make music for people that storm the Capitol building. You make rap tunes for white trash inbred people that snort crank in dirty ass gas station bathrooms. People that shoot AR-15s in classrooms. That no, he doesn't. That tell Wu or Black Moon. You make music for people that hate black dudes. People that huff gas fumes, got barbed wire tattoos. People that say the N word while playing call of duty bro if you ever been in the call of duty in 2005 it was live as soon as you say hey yo what's up oh it's a oh it's a, is he are you black i'll be like yeah oh man i don't want to get out the lobby all right that's true i ain't gonna lie gas fumes got barbed wire tattoos people that say the n-word while playing call of duty people that buy a case of butt light just to shoot it Dang, man. Coming at the whole fan base. Money to be verified on X. People that say, now normally I don't like rap, but this Tom McDonald dude is great because he ain't black. I That's crazy. I don't think nobody, I've never seen that in a comment section before. I don't think Hangover Gain is like that, but I would say there are comments that mirror that a little bit. And he kind of bought reference to something he said earlier, so. This is kind of being drawn out. I rewrote this disc three times, kept throwing out the verses. Punch lines weren't cut and it needed substance and some purpose. I realized I needed to try to cut beyond the surface. And instead of murdering you, maybe I could be of service. You constantly just brag about the ways you feel yourself. It's obvious you're losing your battle with mental health. Tried to fill the emptiness in your soul by getting wealth. But the money, fame, Louie and Gucci, it didn't help. You need to go to Balenciaga and get a belt. Put it around your neck, kick out the stool, then kill yourself. You need to put a gun to your head then drill yourself because to yourself you've never revealed yourself mm. i swear to god i know record i don't i don't like that line that 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 just that that all that build up just ended so flat i think that that's a bad line yourself because to yourself you've never revealed yourself i swear to god i know record label execs that managed you represented you brought you a couple checks they told me all sorts of shit about you how you like the Maybe your best course would be to tread lightly. Hmm. I don't think Tom is going to respond to this. I don't think so. Um, but this is one of those full circle moments right here. Um, it's definitely one of those full circle moments. Will Tom respond? That's the biggest question. Um, I think at this point you have to. Not just for hip hop, but just the person that you claim you ended their career has come out with their hands out of the ground, out of the casket like the Undertaker and said, nah, even after five years, even after five years, I don't look down on lethal because especially the, the way hip hop is, if it's squashed, it's squashed. Don't mention me, Tom, if by any chance he broke the rules on that then he's definitely allowed to do this. So post comments down below. Let me know what you guys think, y'all. I'll catch you guys at another one, all right? Peace.